Good morning, world! After 100 days on the road in our tiny home, Red Tornado, driving to 13 countries in Europe and covering 15,000 kilometers, here are five reasons why campervan travel can be the worst. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. Over the past four years, we have been on some epic adventures around the world. Now, after converting an old van into our new home on wheels, we are ready to hit the road and explore the wonders of Europe. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey and let the adventure begin. Reason number one, dealing with the toilet. <laughs> I think I don't have to say anything more about it. I think it talks for itself. Reason number two why campervan travel can be the worst. Water is essential for everything. And when you're traveling in a van, you can only store so much inside the van and then you have to fill it up. And because we have a tiny micro camper, as you can see, it is not very big. We can't store a lot of water. So we have to find water sources every few days and that can be difficult. Reason number three you totally depend on your van. When it breaks down, it breaks down and you have to sort out your insurance, you have to sort out your, your van repairs, you have to sort out everything by yourself and it can turn your travel into a disaster. This is the only way that you're getting around. So when this stops, your holiday stops, your travel stops. So keep that in mind because when you rent a van, you have companies who then exchange your van into a new van and you can just continue your travel. So there's always the risk if you go on holidays with your own vehicle that your holiday might stop because your vehicle breaks down. Reason number four why campervan travel can be the worst isolation. Now we're traveling as a couple but that's not the situation for everyone. There are many campervan travelers that do travel solo and for them if they don't find people to hang out with the campervan can be quite isolating. Unlike a hostel where everybody's kind of thrown in together it's not always easy to make that step to interact with the people around you. Reason number five. Toll roads in Europe. So I'm from Germany we don't have toll roads there Oli is from England. Uh, actually, no, we have a few toll roads, but not too many and they're quite easy to avoid. But entering France, we actually realized how many toll roads there are. So your way to travel can turn into a very expensive way to travel if you're not careful. As those toll barriers come up over and over again, uh, it can add up to quite a big cost. Often people aren't really thinking about this when they head on the open road, that it's not as free and cheap as people might think. So that is our five reasons why camping van travel can be the worst form of travel. We would like to know your opinion and if you agree with this what we're saying or if you disagree just let us know in the comments. Yeah of course for us all of these downsides they are nothing for us because we still do this and we still absolutely love this way of life and this form of travel but I think it is really important to let people know that it's not all fun and games when you're traveling in a camper van and there are downsides financially, downsides with comfort. It's not always super easy. Please let us know what you think in the comments and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We will see you next time. If you enjoyed watching this video, you would help us a lot by subscribing to the channel by clicking here. Thanks so much for watching guys. We will see you next time.